Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to all of you to this live webinar program. This is Dr. S.A. Mimtaj Rahman as a host of this webinar. I'm working as a manager of medical affairs and training in Navana Pharmaceuticals Limited. I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you on behalf of Navana Pharmaceuticals Limited. As you know, today's uh, webinar topics is management of renal osteodystrophy. And another topic is a role of ferric acid in chronic kidney disease. Today's webinar scientific partner, Navana Pharmaceuticals Limited, and powered by Foscone Ferric Sighted. Ferric Sighted is a treatment for option for chronic kidney disease management. As you know, today's live webinar program, our uh, honorable, uh, uh, now I'd like to introduce our honorable chairperson, panel of expert member, and uh, keynote speaker. At first, I'd like to introduce our honorable chairperson, Professor Dr. Shamim Ahmed, Professor and Senior Consultant, National Kidney Foundation, Hospital and Research Institute, and former Director of National Institute of Kidney Disease and Urology. Welcome to Sir. Another Chairperson, Thank Honorable you. Chairperson, Thank Professor you. Dr. M. Mohibur Rahman, Professor of Nephrology, Head of the ex Head of the Department, Nephrology, Sir Solimullah Medical College. Now he's working as a Nephrology Department as a Professor and Department Head, Popular Medical College and Hospital. Welcome to Sir. Thank you. And uh, now I'd like to introduce our uh, honorable panel of expert member. As part, as first, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor Dr. Pradeep Kumar Dotto, former department head nephrology, Chattogram Medical College. Welcome Thank to you. sir. Uh, now I'd like to request uh, uh, to uh, Professor Dr. Nuzul Islam, honorable uh, honorable professor, uh, head of the department nephrology, Dhaka Medical College Hospital. And then Professor Dr. Kaji Shahanur Alam, Professor of Nephrology, National Institute of Kidney Disease and Neurology Hospital. Thank now you. I'd like to introduce our, our very important person to this keynote speaker, very brilliant presenter, uh, Dr. Nurul Huda, Associate Professor of Nephrology and Department Head of Nephrology, Chattogram Medical College. Dr. Ntia, <laughs> Thank you very yes. much for giving this opportunity and join this webinar. I'd like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you on behalf of Navana Pharmaceuticals. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, but now I'd like to uh, request uh, uh, to start the program on behalf of permission of uh, honorable chairpersons. May I start program? Definitely. OK, thank you, sir. Now I'd like to request Dr. Nurul Huda, Asset Professor Nephrology and Department of Nephrology. Sir, please start the uh, program. Please, sir, start your presentation, please. Thank you. Uh, uh, now I'm uh, presenting. Uh, Thank you very much, Dr. Mthias. With the permission of the chair, I am uh, uh, share, uh, starting my presentation. Uh, now, first, today's uh, management of security and median role of security sector and one view. Uh, clinical scenario CKD, di diagnosis uh, clinical CKD, diabetes, hypertension, age 45 years to male. Hemoglobin 8 milligram per deciliter, serum protein 13.5 milligram per deciliter. Amak is shown as a chatana? Jesar, sorry to loudly volunteer. Skin to the other chana? Skin to borrow with the borrow with the parade. Skin to borrow with the parade. Skin to borrow with the parade. Actually, guess the skin. No, okay, 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 okay. Actually, guess that. Little hair, little. Actually, I'm about to. I'm about to. Professor Mohibur Rahman, skin tech and a borrow color jabi ki babe. Skin ta oh, ashay. Borrow ekiye chhe. Na, akun slash shoto jab kali hobe. Slash shoto ekile. Okay sir. 
डायग्नोसिसनेजमेंटन How may we solve these cases? First, uh, what is the definition of CKD? The structural or functional abnormality of the kidney, three or more months, and manifested by either kidney damage or GFR less than 60 mL per minute per 1.7 meters square. Current CKD nomenclature used by Kadigu, CKD classified based on cause GFR G1 to 5 and albuminuria A1 uh, to 3. क्लासिफिकेशन So, what is Reynolds to this trophy? Reynolds to this trophy is uh, should be used exclusively to define bone pathology as well as CKD. So, uh, CKD MBD includes bone pathology, vascular calcification, and laboratory abnormality like calcium phosphate and PTH. This all three includes CKD MBD. Traditional uh, categories of uh, Reynolds to this trophy. Secondary hyperparathyroidism or osteitis fibrosa or high turnover bone disease. They are increased osteoblast and osteoclast activity, osteomalacia or defective mineralization. That bone turnover is less easily aluminium deposition. Uh, aluminium deposition. A dynamic bone disease, low turnover bone disease, decreased rate of bone formation without mineralization defect. Low intake PTH less than hundred. Are almost always indicated of low bone turnover in CKD five G. Osteoporosis and another is osteopenia or osteoporosis and mixed uremic bone disease, which is combined of high turnover bone disease and low turnover bone disease. Another is due to my microglobulin uh, amyloidosis, which improves by high flux hemodialysis or kidney transplantation. Bone disorders. Osteitis fibrosis. Secondary is usually due to secondary hyperparathyroidism, vitamin D deficiency, osteomalacia, usually acidosis and ammonia accumulation. A dynamic bone disease is usually osteoporosis in elderly and osteopenia caused by steroids or calcium over treatment of calcium, aluminium and calcitriol. There you see uh, TMB, the new TMB classification by Kadigu, turnover mineralization and TMB volume. The prevalence of abnormal calcium phosphate and intake PTH. You see, when GFR decreases, uh, the calcium decreases, phosphate increases, and intake PTH also increases. Prevalence of abnormal phosphate, intake PTH, vitamin D3, calcium 25 hydroxy vitamin D3, calcium trial and FG trial C by GFR. We see here GFR as decreases vitamin. 25 vitamin D3 and 125 vitamin D3 both increases, and FGF23 also increases. We see here when uh, CKD increases, uh, um, uremic toxin FGF23, PTH, 
WNT inhibitor like sclerotin and DKK1 phosphate all increases and clotho calcium and 125 hydroxy D3 decreases. There's the prevalence of osteodystrophy in anesthesia renal disease. You see, uh, secondary hyperparathyroidism is almost static, but uh, a dynamic bone disease is increasing nowadays. And from 1995 to 2001, it is sharply increasing. And low turnover and, and, and mixed uremic osteodystrophy is decreasing. What is the pathogenesis? What are the players of the pathogenesis? Like calcium, phosphate, PTH, FG23, and vitamin D, all are players of the pathogenesis. Here you see a uh, hormonal regulatory pathway of calcium stasis. Uh, calcium, PTH is secreted by chief cell of parathyroid gland, which causes intestinal uh, calcium absorption, mainly by active transport, paracellular transport, or transcellular transport. And Renal calcium absorption, reabsorption by tubular calcium reabsorption, paracellular transport, transcellular transport, phosphate excretion, and vitamin D synthesis, and bone calcium reabsorption, inhibition of osteoblast activity, and indirect inhibition of osteoactivation of osteoblast activity. Elevated PTH. Secondary hyperparathyroidism begins early in course of secondary, like when uh, GFR falls less than 60. The main abnormalities contribute to the pathogenesis of secondary hyperparathyroidism are called phosphate retention, decrease calcium, decrease calcitriol, increase FGF23, acidosis, reduce expression of vitamin D3 D receptor, calcium sensitive receptor, fibroblast boost factor, and clotho in parathyroid gland. The pathogenic secondary hyperparathyroidism reduce kidney mass or function and uremia. Increasing uremia causes increased phosphate retention, which cause uh, sorry, uh, which causes uh, which causes increased FDO23, decreased alpha hydroxylase activity, which again causes d vitamin D, active vitamin D, and and uh, decreased calcium, which in turn causes secondary hyperparathyroidism and tertiary hyperparathyroidism. Hyperparathyroidism regarding hyperparathyroidism, the traditional view which we usually know previously a decrease increase decrease calcium increase phosphate and decrease active vitamin d which causes hyperpsent hyperparathyroidism by calcium sensitive and vitamin d receptor but nowadays fgf23 has important role in secondary hyperparathyroidism as well as uh, clotho and fgf fgf receptor plays important role here you see hyper Parathyroidism, increased PTH, increased bone turnover by osteoclast and osteoblast, and uh, excess vitamin D and calcium supplementation, which causes a dynamic bone disease. The decreased bone turnover uh, by osteoclast and osteoblast by causing osteoclastic activity, blast cluster activity, and osteoblastic activity. And also, CKD causes osteocyte, uh, which causes secret, secretin and secret, secret DKK1, which also inhibit osteoblast. What is the hepatic and renal metabolism of vitamin D2 and vitamin D3? Uh, sunlight from sunlight and dietary source, we got vitamin D, uh, which uh, in liver 25 position, it is hydroxylase as in 25 position, which is in inactive vitamin D, and in kidney, one alpha hydroxylation, which causes vitamin active vitamin D. Most important fibrous growth factor is circulating peptide that plays a clear role in the control of serum phosphate concentration. And FGF23 is secreted by bone osteocyte and osteoblast in response to calcitriol, increased dietary phosphate, PTH, and calcium. And CKD FGF23 level is increased even before rise of PTH. FGF23 is independent predictor of mortality, progression of kidney disease, left ventricular hypertrophy, uh, vascular dysfunction, and kidney transplant outcome. Clotho uh, is all required for FGF23 receptor activation. So, how FGF23 causes CB events? FGF23 in CKD uh, causes increased FGF23 and clotho deficiency, which causes left ventricular hypertrophy and congestive cardiac failure, as well as uh, clotho deficiency and CKD hyperphosphatemia, 
endothelial dysfunctional calcification, atherosclerosis, and vascular disease ultimates when CBE events increases. Now, uh, come to clinical manifestation of CKD and PD. Bone pain, periarticular pain, bone fracture, muscular pain and weakness, skeletal deformity, pseudogout and pruritus, extra skeletal calcification uh, like soft tissue, vessels, heart valves, skins, calcific periarthritis, tendon rupture, and atherosclerosis, left ventricular hypertrophy, and congestive cardiac failure. All are manifestations of CKD MBD. Now, how we diagnose? By, by we diagnose it by biochemical marker like serum calcium, phosphate, PTH, and FGF23, marker of bone formation and bone resorption and bone imaging. X ray, peristyle erosion, paper pot appearance in the, on the skull and rugged just the spine. BMD measured by DEXA or quantitative CT or micro MRI. Ultrasound is useful to detect. Uh, parathyroid gland hyperplasia to distinguish diffuse or nodular hyperplasia. CT and MRI uh, uh, is less effective. Bone biopsy is gold standard for diagnosis of pattern of bone disease, especially uh, dynamic bone disease, but it is not available everywhere and it is invasive and time consuming. And this, this is the marker of bone formation like osteocalcin and beta lp and bone marker of bone resorption hydrocy pro proline and others so what is the what is the recommendation kd recommend they recommend monitoring serum levels of calcium phosphate pth and alkaline phosphatase activity uh, beginning in ckd g3a in children it is g2 what is the uh, how frequently monitor it in CKD3, calcium phosphorus 6 to 12 monthly, 4 and 3 to 6 monthly, and 5 and 5D, 1 to 3 monthly. PTH and ILP baseline 6 to 12 monthly and 3 to 6 monthly. And calcitriol baseline, baseline, and baseline. Some recommendation, recommended guideline by different professional groups. A uh, in 2017, they recommend corrected calcium near should be near normal range. Phosphorus near normal range and PTS two to nine times of upper limit. There are another a lot of uh, uh, recommendations like Canadian Society, Japanese Society, and UK Royal Association. Relation between serum phosphorus and mortality in case patient with CKD. Uh, rise of phosphorus uh, increases mortality. The curve is rising, and abnormal calcium in patient with CKD. You see here. A uh, relative risk of death is increases when calcium is increasing. And, and relative relationship between traditional marker of CKD, MBD, and mortality. You see, uh, high uh, calcium, most of the studies shows uh, the increased mortality uh, compared to low calcium. And high phosphate is also in case all in all studies they got the increased mortality compared to low phosphate and PTH on only except one study all they got the increased mortality compared to low uh, PTH. In patients with CKD uh, 3A 5D, they suggest that 25 hydroxy vitamin D calcidol level might be measured and repeated testing determined by baseline values therapeutic interventions, they suggest that uh, vitamin D deficiency and insufficiency be corrected using treatment strategy recommended for general population. They also suggested the individual uh, value of serum calcium phosphate and evaluated together be used to guide clinical practice rather than a calcium phosphate product. Calcium phosphate parathormone are not independent of each other, must be treated together, not separately. Therapy the treat one positivity and actively may not give net benefit. For example, active vitamin D will lower PTH but rises serum phosphorus, calcium, and FGF23. And calcium based phosphate bundle lower phosphorus but rises calcium and FGF23. So, how we do the assay? They have, the, this assay has a lot of uh, co founder, so, like uh, diurnal variation. 
phosphate and PTAs and calcium has a lot of diurnal variation and seasonal variation. Vitamin D has seasonal variations and variations with milk, meal uh, like calcium, phosphate and PTAs has uh, meal variation that is uh, after meal it increases and during dialysis time also it also varies. This is the hazard ratio of FJ23. Uh, you see, uh, hazard ratio increases with uh, when FJ23 increases and all cause mortality. They suggest uh, CKDMBD and Cadigo suggested CKDMBD risk factor for osteoporosis. Uh, BMD testing to assess fracture risk if result will impact treatment decision. And it is reasonable to perform bone biopsy if knowledge of the type of renal osteodystrophy will impact treatment decision. Is there meta analysis of the DEXA scan? And there's, there's so low DEXA BMD doses predict incident, incident fracture in patients with CKD 3A 5D. You see, low uh, favors the study uh, in case of uh, compared to high BMD. Is the rugged just spine uh, of hyperparathyroidism uh, showing the uh, vertebral bodish increased density and, and center the radiolucency, uh, giving the rugged just spine? This is the uh, subperistal erosion in hyperparathyroidism, and uh, arrow shows the brown tumor, arrowhead, and this is the radiography of the uh, osteoporosis above the radioosteoporosis and lower it is DEXA scan. And in Cadigo, they also suggested that lateral abdominal radiograph can be used to detect the presence or absence of vascular calcification, and echocardiogram can be used to detect presence. Amazing. This is the uh, extraskeletal calcification, uh, arter uh, is arterial calcification. And this is the pulmonary vessel calcification, it is extra articular calcification. Now come to the uh, management. Principles of therapy of CKDMPD. Control of hyperphosphatemia is the most important. Avoid phosphate rich diet and use of phosphate binders, phosphate removal with dialysis. Correction of hypocalcemia if present and calcium gluconate is preferred over calcium chloride as it's less irritating to tissue and correct underlying cause. Vitamin D steroid, calcium mimetic like sinacalcet uh, may be indicated for secondary hyperparathyroidism in patient CKD or an, and on dialysis. May lower serum calcium should only be used if patient's serum calcium is more than 8.5. Then anabolic steroid, teriparatide and tirisoptic therapy like bisphosphonate, calci calcitonin and donosonibab and parathyroidectomy. This is the phosphate diet pyramid. Above the pyramid is the highest phosphate level, uh, highest phosphate level, uh, like you see, uh, chicken nugget, coke, and lower, uh, low phosphate level, vegetables and others, uh, uh, chicken, milk, and uh, pork, and goat, and cow, the meat is the, in the middle. And you see, organic inorganic phosphate is most absorbed, more than 90% absorbed, like food additives, dietary supplements, and calcium for fortified. But organic phosphorus is absorbed to 40 to 60%, which usually, usually takes uh, dietary products like meat, food, poultry, soybean, etc. Phosphate binder, regarding phosphate binder, calcium phase phosphate binder, calcium carbonate, calcium acetate. And calcium acetate has more phosphate binding ability and calcium carbonate has more calcium, elemental calcium. And non-calcium based binder like sebalamar, uh, uh, so hydrochloride or carbonate, lanthanum carbonate which is the highest calcium phosphate binding ability. Magnesium based phosphate binder and aluminum hydroxide, newer as and like iron based binder, sucrophoric uh, hydroxide and ferric citrate and uh, celestylian. Now, uh, calcitriol and vitamin D analog, like nu nutritional vitamin D includes 25 vitamin D2, argocalciferol, and 25, which is usually plant source, and 25 vitamin D3, colicalciferol, is animal source. Active vitamin D, D derivatives, like vitamin D receptor activators, uh, the naturally occurring vitamin D metabolites, like calcitriol, 125 uh, D3, and synthetic analog, like 
doxycalciferol uh, and pericalcitrol, alpha calcitrol, etc. Uh, doxycalciferol need conversion to uh, conversion to active uh, vitamin D3 in liver. So in liver failure, it not works. Doxycalciferol and pericalcitrol has less calcimic and phosphotemic effect, but has a similar uh, PTSD1 effect like calcitriol. In vitamin D deficiency, uh, if less than five uh, nanogram, uh, usually we can use argocalciferol or colicalciferol, 50,000 unit weekly for 12 weeks, and five to 15, uh, 50,000 unit weekly for four weeks, then monthly thereafter, and 16 to 30, that is insufficiency, a uh, monthly argocalciferol or colicalciferol. Mm, which is available in our country. In acidosis, regarding acidosis, we should maintain tissue to or bicarb more than 22, between 22 to 26. So, uh, sodium bicarb we can use. Note, in uh, have, uh, car during correction of uh, acidosis, we have to think about hypocalcemia because if we correct uh, hypocalcemia first, if we correct acidosis first, it uh, causes alkalosis and which further deteriorates the hypocalcemia, causes uh, neurological complication and arrhythmia and tetany. And these are the uh, uh, manufacturer's recommendation regarding alendronate, rosidronate, er, uh, and artery peritide and calcitonin. Uh, this is very important slide. Calcium based phosphate binder uh, dec increases calcium, decreases phosphate and PTH. And calcium free phosphate binder it this doesn't affect calcium, but it do, lowers phosphate and it is less effective on PTS also. Vitamin D, uh, it decreases parathormone and increases calcium and phosphate and calcium mimetic. It, it also decreases parathormone and it decrease, also decreases calcium and phosphate and low dialysate calcium, it also increases PTH and decreases calcium, parathyroidectomy, it also decreases PTH. So, uh, uh, calcium and based for uh, vitamin, active vitamin D, uh, calcium mimetic, and parathyroidectomy uh, most lower the PTH level. And th th this is the re very recent recommendation, Kadoki uh, guideline for nutrition 2020 uh, for a statement about the calcium, total calcium in cigarette three to four, not taking active vitamin D analog. They suggest that the total elemental calcium intake should be 800 to 1,000 uh, milligram per day uh, uh, to be prescribed to maintain neutral calcium balance in cigarette five D. It is reasonable to adjust calcium intake uh, with consideration concurrent use of vitamin D analog and calcium mimetic in order to avoid hypercalcemia or calcium overload. They have also a statement about phosphate, dietary phosphate. Uh, they recommend adjusted dietary phosphate intake to maintain seroposphate level, normal range, and uh, cigarette 5D uh, and post-transplantation is reasonable when making decision about phosphate restriction treatment to consider viability of the phosphate source like animal source or vegetable source. And regarding KDQ guideline in 2017, they recommend treatment of CKD MBD based on serial assessment of phosphorus, calcium, and PTAs considered together. And they suggest lowering elevated phosphate level towards normal. They also suggest avoid hypercalcemia. This is the, some studies like uh, KF, uh, consideration in phosphate binder treatment data uh, from three observational studies. Isaac, Isakova et al. Dobbs and Cosmos study. This is the uh, multivariate analysis. This is the um, uh, adjusted hazard ratio of the uh, Isakova study that shows that uh, before uh, 90 days uh, when they use the phosphate binder, uh, they have the uh, survival benefit that is uh, low mortality. This is the Dobbs study. There's a 25% reduction of risk of death in uh, when they uh, use phosphate binder compared to uh, placebo. There's a Cosmos study, the use of phosphate binder, either alone or combination, is to significantly lower risk of all cost mortality. This is the uh, Cosmos hazard ratio showing uh, uh, clear benefit over placebo. Phosphate binder and survival. You see, and uh, without phosphate binder and phosphate binder, uh, there is survival benefit and people is significant. 
in uh, they also suggest cadigos suggest using dialysate calcium concentration between 1.25 to 1.5 millimole per liter uh, the uh, decision about phosphate lowering treatment should be based on progressive or persistently elevated phosphate and and receiving phosphate lowering treatment such as restricting dose of calcium gas phosphate binder calcium uh, this is the uh, this is the another uh, events uh, of free survival uh, calcium carbonate and sebelamer uh, there they shows uh, sebelamer group has a clear uh, even free survival compared to calcium carbonate this is also another study uh, compared to lanthanum sebelamer calcium base and placebo you see it is a box plot showing calcium base has uh, more uh, coronary artery uh, events than compared to sebelamer and lanthanum uh, seven, this is also another uh, study uh, compared to placebo. Uh, you see, arrhythmia is lower in compared in sebelamer group compared to calcium salts, and uh, and this also CV mortality also low in case of sebelamer group compared to uh, calcium uh, based phosphate binder. Both, both this uh, uh, has uh, p value significant. Uh, in Cadig also recommend avoiding long term use of aluminum containing phosphate binder uh, and 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 they also suggest limiting dietary phosphate intake in treatment of hyperphosphatemia or in combination with other treatment uh, because this is the decor study uh, that shows that uh, age more than 65 calcium based phosphate binder and sevelamar sevelamar group has the uh, uh, clear cut uh, all cause mortality significant lower clear clear uh, all cause mortality uh, but uh, cardiovascular mortality uh, is not uh, significant compared to calcium based phosphate binder in decor study and in in uh, in case of uh, less than 65 years old uh, all cause mortality and cardiovascular none is significant compared to uh, calcium based phosphate binder in decor study this is a very recent study uh, compared uh, the impact of phosphate reduction on vascular events in chronic kidney disease improved secondary trial and uh, that shows that after 96 years 96 weeks lanthanum carbonate did not affect arterial stiffness or vascular calcification compared to placebo this is the opera trial uh, which shows that uh, Pericalcitriol, uh, pericalcitriol treatment shows no change with uh, placebo. Uh, in the Kirigo also suggests uh, on, on dialysis, optimal PTS level is not known. This uh, and vitamin D, vitamin D, they, they also suggest uh, calcitriol vitamin D analog not routinely be used. And they suggest maintaining intake PTS level range approximately two to nine times of upper limit. And uh, requiring PTS lowering therapy, they suggest calcium mimetic, calcitriol vitamin D analog, or in combination with calcium mimetic with calcitriol and vitamin D analog. And they suggest uh, parathyroidectomy if necessary. This is the primo trial. Uh, primo trial, this is the pericalcitriol versus placebo. Uh, they, they shows uh, mean intake PTS level is lower in case of pericalcitriol level, uh, pericalcitriol group, and alkaline alkal phosphate acid intake PTS level in, in opera trial, they also shows the lower in case of pericalcitriol group. Uh, but uh, com it, it, no significant, if this trial also shows that no significant effect on uh, effect Disconnected. Hello. In patients with uh, with uh, osteoporosis or high risk fracture, I didn't know WHO organized criteria recommended management for general population. This is the newer phosphate binder, pericytrate. 
uh, there shows that in this at all and Yokohama at all, they both shows this iron uh, iron level increases in case of uh, Louis at all and Yokohama group with ferric citrate and phosphate main treatment different. That they also shows that phosphate level also decreases. Effects of uh, ferric citrate on dial non dialysis dependent CKD and iron deficiency anemia. That shows that uh, uh, phosphate level decreases randomized period and extended period, both this period in ferric citrate group compared to uh, placebo group. And regarding uh, ferric citrate on PTS and FGF23, that, that shows that ferric citrate group has uh, significant over placebo in lowering uh, intake PTS and FGF23. This is the uh, slide. Uh, there are a lot of uh, increase. Uh, Fixated group has increased hemoglobin, increased T set, uh, uh, increased ferritin over time, and uh, uh, compared to uh, placebo group. And this is the uh, vitamin D level. Fixated group has increased vitamin D compared to uh, placebo group. Fixated group. Uh, there is another study shows that the fixated group decreased IV iron use. And this is very important uh, uh, study shows that uh, ferric, a stereo study shows that ferric citrate group has a lower ESA dose compared to control group. So ferric, those who is use ferric citrate, there has uh, ESA, ESA decreases the ESA requirement. This is also important uh, slide. Uh, ferric citrate group has better uh, survival benefit over plus uh, usual care group. So uh, FDA approved uh, ferric citrate for phosphate lowering as well as increase any, uh, for anemia. Changes in clinical practice, what we are doing, uh, what we should do. We usually are now, uh, doing push PTS low, don't push PTS too low. Routine use of calcitriol and vitamin D analog, we are using uh, randomly, but less vitamin D uh, add in calcinic acid. Lot of calcium we are using, minimizing calcium and non-calcium based phosphate binder. And, and serum vitamin D important, replace vitamin D deficiency. So present and future research. Bone, kidney, and so this is the FGF23, clotho, DKK1, sclerotine, and activin. These are the research uh, interest. So what is new? Correcting uh, clotho deficiency by recombinant clotho uh, therapy for preventing or uh, preserving secondary hyperparathyroidism. Use of anti FGF23 monoclonal antibody, though it is shown in animal model, if effective, but in human is yet to be established. Monoclonal use of monoclonal antibody or ligand trap act R2A uh, regulating DKK1 uh, at now at preclinical phase. In future, treatment of CKM will be aimed at the control of bone remodeling, bone volume, and new therapies for osteoporosis, steriparatide, donosumab, and uh, Romo, Sujumab, we may use. So I am at the end of presentation. My uh, K home message is, is it is important to emphasize the independent interdependency of serum calcium phosphate and PTS for clinical therapeutic decision making. This approach requires complex balance of four medic uh, medications, namely calcium-based phosphate binder, non-calcium-based phosphate binder, uh, calcium-containing binder, calcium myomatic, and other uh, calcitriol and synthetic vitamin D analog. It is reasonable to limit uh, dietary calcium phos phosphorus intake. Phosphate lowering therapy may only be indicated in case of progressive or persistent hyperphosphatemia. New evidence suggests that Excess exposure to exogenous calcium adult may harmful in all stages of CKD, regardless of whether other risk, factor, risk markers are present. Uh, in CKD, DEXA is a predictive future, uh, future fracture risk as a general population. Routine use of active vitamin D is abundant. No consensus was reached to recommend clinical set at first line therapy for lowering intake PTH in all cases of secondary hyperparathyroidism. Among patients with refractory hyperparathyroidism, prompt parathyroidectomy is suggested. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Hello? Hello? Uh -huh. Hello?
Thank you. Our next presentation will be from Dr. Hassan Intiaz Rahman, Manager Medical Affairs and Training, Navarra Pharmaceutical Limited. And he will talk on the role of Pariksaita in CKD management. So I invite Dr. Intiaz Rahman to present uh, his topic. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, I'd like to uh, give thanks to Dr. Nuruda, sir, for his elaborating a nice presentation. He has delivered and mentioned lots of information in regards of uh, management of renal osteodystrophy. dystrophy. Uh, now I'd like to uh, uh, share the screen, uh, role of excited in chronic kidney disease management. As I mentioned earlier, I'm uh, Dr. S.M. Intadur Rahman, working as a manager of medical affairs and training in Navarra Pharmaceuticals. Let's see the presentation. Chronic kidney disease is a global health issue. Now, ISN International Society of Nephrology is dedicated to closing the gaps in access to care. You know that 850 million people's worldwide death in chronic kidney disease. It's a huge uh, problem and it's a long time treatment required and financial budget is incurred is huge. So early direction, uh, right treatment and cost effective treatment is very important. Let's see the presentation. As you know, renal osteodystrophy is characterized by abnormalities in bone turnover, mineralization, and bone volume. The use of calcium-based phosphate binders has been associated with the development of a dynamic bone disease, low bone turnover, bone loss, and worsening vascular calcification. As you know, vascular calcification is the one of the important cause of mortality. Recently, iron-based phosphate binder have been launched in advanced chronic kidney disease to treat hyperphosphatemia and iron deficiency anemia. This is the beauty of this product. As you know, hyperphosphatemia is a marker indicative of ongoing parathyroid elevation in secondary hyperparathyroidism. The therapeutic objective for correcting hyperphosphatemia is reduce synthesis of parathyroid, a task that is accomplished by restricting dietary phosphate is important and binding ingested phosphate within the gut. Excess mortality in hyperphosphatemia is the consequence of injury, including calcification of the heart and arteries. Anemia was the first link to CKD over 170 years ago by Richard Bright. As the kidney disease progress, anemia increases in prevalence, affecting nearly all patients with stage 3 and 5. Anemia CKD is associated with reduced quality of life, increased cardiovascular disease, hospitalization rate is increased, Cognitive impairment happen and ultimately mortality goes down. Ferrexatet always designed be, always be different. Ferrexatet is the only oral iron tablet approved by the FDA in 2014 for the treatment of iron deficiency anemia and hyperphosphatemia, especially in adult patients with chronic kidney disease. How this product is works? Product it works in dual way. At first, I want to show phosphate management. As you know, ferricited binds to dietary phosphate in the gastrointestinal tract. Ultimately, it is a precipitates and insoluble form, and this insoluble form ferric phosphate excreted through the stool and ultimately lowers the phosphate concentration in the serum. And uh, another uh, mode of action is anemia management. Uh, as you know, unbound ferricited in presence of ferric reductase enzyme in the gastrointestinal tract. Uh, this uh, ferric form converted to ferrous form and ferrous form transported to the enterocytes into the blood and binds to plasma protein transparent and including uh, incorporated into the hemoglobin and ultimately controls anemia. Uh, this is the beauty of phosphone controls as well as for phosphate level as well as increase the anemia serum hemoglobin and serum peritin level in effective way. Let's see, Navana Pharmaceuticals proudly introduces phoscone, uh, this is the ferric uh, preparation, 210 milligram tablet. Phoscone is a novel iron delivering phosphate binder. This is the first time in Bangladesh product and phoscone brand comes from phosphate control. This is our uh, allelibration, also commercial box shown, this is the 30 tablet and this is a very cost effective product, only uh, 25 taka per tablet. Let's see the doses guideline in hyperphosphatemia in chronic kidney disease on dialysis. Starting dose is two tablets orally three times per day with meals. This is very important with meals. 
and iron deficiency anemia in chronic kidney disease not on dialysis starting dose is one tablet orally three times per day with meds let's see some clinical study and this clinical study on behalf of very excited and uh, this study is some renowned article and journal this is the showing the journal of american society of nephrology uh, uh, very excited controls phosphorus and delivers iron patients on dialysis study type is active control followed by placebo control number of patients was 292 duration was 56 weeks drug used for excited and for excited reduce phosphate level as well as increase serum ferritin and serum hemoglobin level very effective way this is another study is japi journal of association of physician of india uh, this study has conducted in tertiary care hospital in north india role of ferric acid in hyperphosphatemia and iron deficiency anemia in non dialysis chronic kidney disease patients study type was prospective number of patients was 40 pre dialysis adult patients and duration of three months, the drug use ferric acid. Ferric acid uh, increased serum hemoglobin and serum ferritin level very effective way and improves anemia significantly. So ferric acid is an effective and well tolerated phosphate binder among the all phosphate binder, which is also significantly improves hematological parameters in iron deficiency chronic kidney disease patients. Ferric acid reduces intravenous iron and erythropoiesis stimulating agent in end stages renal disease. In end stages renal disease, intravenous iron and erythropoiesis required rate is increasing. Study type phase 3 randomized active control. The number of patients was 441 with ESRD uh, patients and duration was 52 weeks. Drug used ferric acid and active control. In active control, used calcium acetate as well as cell limit. And those patients are taking ferric acid, there are 85% patients, no IV iron required at all. So it's a very good option, and ferric acid ensures less elemental IV iron requirement. Another very important study, nephrology dialysis transplantation. This is a very renowned article, and this study has conducted in Japan. A randomized trial of JDT 751 ferric acid versus sublimate hydrochloride in patients on hemodialysis. Study type was multicenter randomized trial. Number of patients was 230. These are hemodialysis patients, and duration was two, uh, uh, two weeks. And drug used ferric acid and sublimate. Uh, sublimate only works on the reduce the phosphate level, whereas ferric acid reduce phosphate level as well as increase serum ferritin and serum hemoglobin. Because we know that sublimate is only works on phosphate level, they have no role to reduce increase the serum hemoglobin and serum ferritin level. This is the last study effect of ferric acid on fibrous growth factor 23 in non dialysis CKD patients. Study type is randomized trial, and number of patients was 117, duration of 16 weeks. Drug used ferric acid. Uh, ferric acid effectively reduced both fibular C uh, growth factor 23 and I have fibular growth factor 23. Uh, we know that elevated serum concentration of fibular growth factor 23 have been associated with incidence and progression of chronic kidney disease, left ventricular failure, heart, uh, heart, heart failure, cardiovascular events, and ultimately mortality in patients with chronic kidney disease. So, uh, treatment with ferric acid as a phosphate binder results significantly decrease fibroblast growth factor after 16 weeks. Uh, this study is conducted in Japan, uh, the Journal of American Society of Nephrology. So these are the, this is the uh, take home message in, in summarize of phoscon as we uh, as I earlier mentioned earlier. This is the first time in Bangladesh product phoscon ferric acid, a novel iron delivering phosphate binder. Phoscon ensures dual benefits. We already mentioned. Successfully, phosphone successfully reduce phosphate level as well as phosphone improves iron deficiency anemia syndrome. And phosphone ensures less elemental IV iron requirement. Phosphone ensures better serum ferritin, hemoglobin, phosphate level compared to sublimate. And phosphone also decreased fibroblast growth factor 23. Uh, this is the beauty of phoscone and that's all about my presentation on phoscone uh, thank you very much for giving this opportunity to share skin uh, to all of uh, in front of all of you i'd like to thank our honorable chairpersons our uh, panel of expert member and obviously our keynote speaker thank you so much for giving this opportunity thank you so much uh, now i'd like to uh, request uh, uh, our honorable Now I'd like to request to discussion session uh, in this topic as far as I'd like to request Professor Dr. Kaji Shahnur Alam uh, to discuss about renal osteodystrophy as well as uh, ferric acid. Thank you, Dr. Impias. Additional uh, obstacle? Yeah, we are here. I must congratulate uh, my close friend, 
and uh, one of the brilliant nephrologists of the country, Dr. Noor Huda, for um, presenting this topic in a very beautiful way. Uh, uh, we learned a lot, and uh, he has added uh, a lot of new slides uh, on this management of CKD MBD. I think um, very little is left to discuss. And uh, 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 one slide I uh, I have very much um, I am very much interested in it. That is the what is the changes uh, in clinical practice. Uh, one thing I must remember uh, I must uh, say that we should not use vitamin D um, analogs or calcitriol right and left. It should be restricted. And uh, in case of very high PTH, uh, we we should only consider this because uh, they are for adaptive response. There is uh, some uh, raise of serum uh, serum PTH level, so we should not rush to uh, treat this uh, PTH uh, to lower the PTH with vitamin analog, vitamin D analogs, or calcitriol. And another thing is that uh, we should consider the uh, the trends of uh, rise of uh, uh, serum phosphate level. Single measurement is not enough, so we should serially measure the serum uh, phosphate, calcium, vitamin D, and IPTH. And, and there is a complex interplay between these uh, these factors. So we should consider them as a whole. Not uh, not a single measurement is enough to um, manage this uh, manage the CKD MBD. And another thing is that Dr. Huda has uh, nicely presented um, uh, uh, different uh, studies, um, uh, current studies and uh, current recommendations, especially from uh, K. Doki. KDOKI nutrition guideline in 2020 and the KDGO uh, CKD MBD guideline from 2017. And um, uh, I think all, all has been discussed very well and nicely. Uh, and I must again uh, uh, congratulate Dr. Huda for uh, his uh, brilliant presentation. And the next one regarding the management of uh, um, uh, Phosphate uh, management of uh, hyperphosphatemia with phosphate binder, non calcium containing phosphate binder, and iron containing uh, phosphate binder. Uh, Dr. Impias has presented nicely. Uh, I uh, One thing I like to uh, uh, add that uh, FDA has approved two iron containing phosphate binder one is uh, sucroferic oxyhydroxide, and another is uh, ferric citrate. Uh, ferric citrate has, has been available in our country as the name of FOSCON. Uh, uh, thanks to Dr. Imtiaz uh, uh, for his endeavor to popularize the drug in our country. Uh, mm, and uh, I think in near near future, oxyferic, uh, oxy, uh, sucroferic oxyhydroxide will be available in our country, and it will uh, will be it will be easier for us to manage uh, CKDMBD or hyperphosphatemia phos uh, phosphatemia without raising the serum calcium and the risk of causing vascular calcification. Uh, with these few words, I like to um, conclude. And uh, we have uh, our teachers with us, uh, very renowned nephrologists of the country, uh, Professor Sabi Mohammed Sir, Professor Mohibur Rahman Sir, and Professor Pradeep Tattop. I think they will discuss uh, uh, this thing in another way. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Imtiaz. Thank you so much, Thank sir, you. for a nice observation. Uh, now I'd like to request uh, Professor Dr. Nuzrul Islam Sir for uh, share about this presentation uh, of your views on this presentation. Yeah, thank you very much, Dr. Intias. And uh, today, I think everything has discussed, especially Dr. Nurul Huda, uh, very properly. He has discussed even even latest things also. KDGO uh, 2020 guideline not yet has came to the book as a book as a guideline but he has taken an example from there yeah. and i think nothing is remaining i've been uh, very excited i like to tell one thing there is a three source i think so if we are using very excited in that cases increased transplant saturation decreasing phosphate phosphate and ultimately decreasing the fgf 23 so at the end of this, reducing the 
cardiac mortality or peptide mortality are not there. So I think we can consider the practice of this uh, ferric sachet uh, in exchange of calcium phosphate binder or non calcium phosphate. We can consider ferric sachet. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, actually, this is the beauty of ferric sachet or phosphon uh, because, because in our country, lots of uh, patients are using. Uh, uh, phosphate calcium based phosphate binder so uh, it's a huge chance to classification as modality uh, now i'd like to request uh, professor pradeep kumar Dotto, sir but i can't show him uh, the sir sir uh, are you hearing uh, yes he got amar video ta ashchi na keno bujhte chilo ami ajar kotha to shuno jacche I have tried so many times, but I cannot. No problem. We can listen you. Uh, thank you, Nabana Pharmaceuticals, uh, for arranging such a beautiful topic. Uh, thank you, Dr. Imtiaj, for so much hard work to arrange this uh, seminar. Expected chairpersons. Professor Shami Mamet and Professor Mohibur Rahman. I also uh, give thanks to Dr. Muhammad Nazrul Islam and Kaji Shainur Alam, the panel of experts, all the audiences. Last of all, but not the least, my heartful thanks to Dr. Muhammad Nurul Huda for uh, describing a very, uh, I say it is a hard to begin. Jato varai kori bhule jai kinte aage din bhule jai tar kothin bhule jai. Mekani jo type buste varai na. Ye kunda diye kiye the se vitamin D kundi ke kore, aur aidi ke PTH kundi ke kore, osteoblast kundi ke kore, osteocyte kundi ke kore. Karkas kunda kyo bola jai osteo Malaysia the bone volume bere jai kyo bola osteo borosi se ene bone bone volume kome jai ki difference ki kyo var bola jai osteo Malaysia je low bone turnover disease aur kyo bola jai normal turnover disease. This really tough. Kintu doctor mama nuru da. By amalgamating so many journals, so many topics, made this topic uh, a bit easier for me. I'm only kisu gudevan sir, only kisu shigis. Thank you, Dr. Mohammad Nuruda, for enlightening a very beautiful topic. Uh, I'm thank, only, you, thank you. Uh, I also I give thanks to Dr. Imtiaz uh, for presenting the new drug in Bangladesh. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, actually, uh, Nuruda among Dr. Imtiaz, Jab Boloche, Shawi Bolohe, uh, Bolakson, I can do actor uh, Jamarka Monohe from my experience that a uh, bone mineral disease in CKD is mostly asymptomatic. Asymptomatic theory. To the Q action, Akore, Onishomaja, Bitura Bitura, Evascular Dactus, Ottawa Ragar, Spine. Ottawa, Tanmil, or still feeling the eruption of the egg launch of Jojai. The age of no mood that could Balago the Bolse, the one time measurement as a thing, a serial measurement. On guideline at a Bolaos, the stage three, four, a potibosa collector week in the stage five and dialysis patient for the Tinma Shantor, calcium phosphate PTS, Tinuda Corrupt, Atacula, and Tinuda Action, the Corrupt Corrupt. And on a Gulias, the Gulto, calcium normal. Phosphate coming is a PTH coming is a dynamic bond is with the barre. Our own shome osteoporosis of a mixed type did a new the bull say it is a rascal. Age the character, Amra Shore, the he on a go get a bolasar actor kidney drug this are native Dylan Bondog. A kidney drug bolt there a bullet, which is a dagger to risk it away. A dagger to use for it. I want Jay Dagal and Bondo Gordon, one of the actor in the drug with the Jaganaki people. Jodi Rogi, I'm not Haravo de Bare, into Haram Nal Bano Dagle Bahalava. The Haravo is a polo de drug Bondo Gordis, Ajon Gondo Gordos. It had to have a general public actuator, Buzanade, Kelsium phosphate, PDS Kutove among a drug should be restricted to the nephrologist. Ajama, general physician, internist, a use column, private internist, Jara, use corre, Iraq into. Totally, uh, randomly, it uh, use could affect this. I shop show my mother extra good investigation color organ. I to which investigation color organ. I'm not doing the matha take a pie dig a jite matha take a spine dole pelvis dole pirate tax. That tax a good work in the measurement of calcium phosphate among PTH measurement. I'm not a jealous how much I'm a PTH measurement. I'm not a decision. It's a thick mark. I'm a intake PTH for the bio PTH measurement. I'm not a little bit. Bioactivities. Did a really active PTH measurement the Dorga, 
সেটা আমরা অনেক সময় করি না এই জন্য আমরা একটা ভালো রেজাল্ট এবং সিরিয়ালি আমরা তিন মাস অন্তর অন্তর রেজাল্ট করে আমরা এটা করতে পারি আর ফেরিক সাইটের নিয়ে স্টাডিগুলো আমি দেখলাম স্টাডিগুলো আমি दिलम बदलाईटर मेकानिजम चिंता Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Now I'd like to uh, attention uh, Professor Dr. Muhibur Rahman, sir, uh, to share your views uh, uh, in presentation on renal osteodystrophy as well as peric sites. Uh, thank you, Navana Pharmaceutical, for inviting me to chair this session, and and thanks to Dr. Imtiaz, especially because he's taken a lot of trouble to arrange this webinar. And I think Dr. Mohammad Nurul presented nicely the CKD MBD and the present scenario, and and also Dr. Imtiaz has presented uh, their product uh, first corner for excite trade, uh, which has been recently marketed. Uh, the thing is that the focus of CKD MBD has been changing. About 50 years back, the focus was on PTH, so everything was to control PTH. Lower the pH level, and um, and that was our main uh, focus of attention in uh, management of CKD MBD. But for but that, that started about 15 years back. Then the shift uh, focus shifted to phosphate. Now everything is regarding for the last 15 years the focus has shifted to phosphate, and everything is to lower phosphate. That's why we have been using so many phosphate binders and all of the products. So, so the focus shifted to phosphate for the last 15 years. Now the focus again shifted to FDF and clotho, because now the people think that uh, uh, controlling phosphate is not improving the cardiovascular mortality. So uh, things are probably FDF 23 and clotho are playing a major role in cardiovascular mortality and morbidity in patients with CKD. In fact, if the patients with CKD are more likely to have more likely to die of cardiovascular disease than to die of renal failure. <coughs> and not only that, the patient on dialysis has 500 times increased cardiovascular mortality compared to general population. So how to reduce this cardiovascular mortality? And it has been shown that there is coronary artery calcification in patients with CKD, especially patients who are on dialysis. And so people started thinking why, why there is uh, vascular calcification. And CKD injury became important because it uh, because it included vascular calcification as as one of the components of CKD injury. And now uh, and because this vascular calcification has increased cardiovascular mortality. Now it is thought that uh, initially it was thought that it is phosphate which is causing this coronary artery calcification, which is uh, changing um, uh, which is changing uh, uh, cells to Become osteoblast, the endothelial cells to become osteoblast, or the uh, vascular smooth muscle cells to become osteoblast and accumulate calcium and resulting in coronary artery calcification. So, anyway, we have been using phosphate binder for quite some time. Initially, we started to use aluminium based phosphate binder, then we found that it causes aluminium toxicity, then we shifted to calcium based phosphate binders, calcium acid and calcium carbonate, then we found that. Calcium based phosphate binders causes more coronary calcification than non calcium based binders like Seminar or Lanthanum. 
then we shifted to long calcium based phosphate binders. Now we have shifted to iron based phosphate binders because uh, they have some advantage over uh, other phosphate binders because they also improve the iron level. They also correct anemia at the same time. So two iron based phosphate binders, sucrophenic uh, oxide hydroxides and ferric citrate have been approved by NBA uh, as phosphate binders and also to treat CKD, anemia and CKD. So you see the, and problem is in our country, we we prescribe, I mean, everybody prescribes, anybody who comes with CKD has a great creatine level. So they are given calcium and a calcitriol. And nobody, nobody really cares about calcium phosphate and PTH. So what happened after some time, you find that they have a raised calcium level and they're coming with a serum calcium level 10.5 or 10.8. And, and nobody is uh, taking any uh, care of that. So I think even in CKD patients, we should try to maintain calcium level below 10. It shouldn't go above 10 because that increases coronary artery calcification. It has been shown that uh, it increases coronary artery calcification. And we should be very careful about prescribing um, prescribing calcium phosphate, phosphate binders to our patients. Uh, unless, because if somebody has a normal phosphate level and somebody has got uh, normal calcium level and PTH is just raised about uh, twice the normal range, you do not need to really prescribe uh, calcium-based phosphate binders because if phosphate is normal, why are you pre uh, prescribing phosphate binders? And we should be careful about prescribing calcitriols as well because calcitriols, they increase um, calcium level. Um, uh, Dr. Nurhud has shown two trials. Uh, one is Prime, one is one of the other is Opera. Uh, Primo was done in USA and Opera was done in Hong Kong. And this trial has shown clearly that calcium, that calcium trial does not improve the cardiovascular mortality or morbidity, rather they increase the calcium level. So there's no point giving somebody um, somebody calcium, calcium trial. And phosphate level doesn't need to be treated unless it is progressively rising or is persistently raised. So single dash it doesn't shape, uh, said uh, repeatedly that one measurement of phosphate is not enough. You have to do a serial management and you have to measure calcium phosphate PTH together to take a decision on what drug you should give. If PTH is not raised, you do not need to give, uh, is not raised more than three times the normal, you do not need to give calcium trial. And, uh, and also you have to take care of the calcium level as well at the same time. So if calcium level is rising, you, have, you need to stop calcium trial. So uh, we need to, so this decision has to be taken is better taken by nephrologists, not by other uh, physicians or other specialties, because uh, uh, because many of them do not have any concept of CKD MBD. In fact, CKD MBD did not become uh, such an important topic unless it included vascular calcification as a component of CKD MBD. Previously, it was renal oxygen dystrophy. Now it is CKD MBD. And CKD MBD is thought as a systemic illness, a systemic disease, which entails three areas like bone, bone pathology, abnormalities of calcium, phosphate, PTH, vitamin D, and also vascular calcium. And because, because people are trying to think why these people of CKD has got this increased cardiovascular mortality. And they found that they have coronary artery calcification. Because if you measure the coronary artery calcium that can be me measured by CT scan, doing a CT scan, you'll find that all the CKD patients have increased coronary artery calcification and increased calcium. Hello, sir. Are you hearing? I'm actually from the disconnect, I guess. Okay, uh, now I'd like to uh, get attention, Professor Dr. Shami Ahmed, sir, uh, to share your views uh, on this presentation, Renal Oxygen Dystrophy, as well as very excited. Uh, thank you very much for arranging a beautiful seminar on Renal Oxygen Dystrophy. Very important topic. Sorry, Amra a understand that other one to say to say obvious current. I'm not going to do it. I should go to see I target should put the other to discussion for a little. I hope a candidate for Jim speaker chair speaker J. Chilean are a candidate panel expert. I think all are well known as and highly educated in our country. Nephrology, as you see, Professor Mohibur Roman, Professor Nul Huda, excellent deliberation in depth delivery. He always a beautiful 
স্পিকার এন্ড ইন ডেপথ আলোচনা করেন প্রফেসর দুইজন রিসেন্টলি প্রফেসর হইছেন আই মাস্ট কনগ্রাচুলেট প্রফেসর নজরুল फ्रॉम ঢাকা মেডিকেল এন্ড প্রফেসর শাওনুল হক ডিগডু দে আর অলসো ভেরি একাডেমিক এন্ড নলেজেবল পারসন এন্ড আই মাস্ট থ্যাঙ্ক টু নাভানা ফার্মাসিউটিক্যাল টু অ্যারেঞ্জ এন্ড ডক্টর ইফিয়াস ফর ডুইং সো মাচ হার্ড ওয়ার্ক রিগার্ডিং দিস দিস সেমিনার এন্ড অলসো দা অডিয়েন্স যদি কাউ এখনো থাকেন তাদের জন্য ধন্যবাদ একটা এই যে প্রফেসর প্রদীপ ওয়াজ অলসো এক্সেলেন্ট স্পিকার এন্ড নলেজেবল পারসন আই থিং সে যেটা কো বলল যে রেনাল অস্টিওডিস্ট্রপিটা এমন একটা সাবজেক্ট আজকে পড়ি কালকে ভুলে যাই এটা উই ট্রাই টু ইয়েস প্রফেসর প্রদীপ এজ এ এক্সেলেন্ট এবং একাডেমিক পারসন এটা বলছে আমি একমত এই রেনাল অস্টিওডিস্ট যখন পড়ি তখন কিছু হয় আবার দুই চার দিন পরে ভুলে যাই আজকেও সেমিনার আগে দুই দিন যাবত একটু দেখতেছিলাম ইজ ভেরি ডিফিকাল্ট যদি আমি বলি যে ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ এ মেটাবলিক মিনারেল বোন ডিজিজ এ ডেফিনিশনটা কি ডেফিনিশনটা অবশ্য যেটা প্রফেসর নকুদা বলছে যে এ ইজ এ সিস্টেমিক ডিসঅর্ডার অফ দা সি বোন এন্ড মিনারেলস এন্ড ইন দা ক্রনিক কিডনি ডিজিজ এন্ড ইজ এ ক্যারেক্টারাইজ বাই অ্যাবনর্মালিটি অফ ক্যালসিয়াম ফসফেট প্যারাথর্মন এন্ড প্যারাথর্মন এই চারটা জিনিস প্লাস অলসো देयर ইজ এ ডিফেক্ট অর অর অ্যাবনর্মালিটিস ইন দা বোন বোনের কি বোনের কোয়ান্টিটি এন্ড কোয়ালিটি কোয়ান্টিটি হলো ডেনসিটি আর কোয়ালিটি হলো তার অ্যাক্টিভিটি সেটা কি সেটা হলো মিনারালাইজেশন এন্ড দেন এই ক্যালসিফিকেশন এন্ড কোলাজেন ফরমেশন এন্ড রিমডেলিং এই এখন প্লাস ভাস্কুলার ক্যালসিফিকেশন এন্ড সফট টিস্যু ক্যালসিফিকেশন সো ডেফিনিশন ডি আর রেনাল অস্টিওপি যদি আমরা বলি হোয়াট ইজ রেনাল অস্টিওপি রেনাল অস্টিওপি ইজ অলসো এ মরফোলিক অল্টারেশন ইন এ হেটেরোজেনাস ইট অলসো ইনক্লুডস দিস অল দিস গ্রুপ এখন এটার ভিতরে ডিসঅর্ডার Of predisposing to the fracture, and what is the result of the fracture? There is a integration of the integration of quantity of the bone and quality of the bone. Quantity and quality are two different things. Quantity, our quality, quantity. We are talking the bone density, bone mineral density. It is measurement for a high. It is double X-ray, X-ray for a parade or for computer as well. আর যেটা বলতেছে কোয়ালিটি যে স্ট্রেন্থ মিনারেলেশন এটা আইডিয়ালি এটা ফাইভ সি করে এটা রিজার্ভমেন্ট করা হয় সো ইট ইজ এ কমপ্লেক্স থিং এন্ড প্রফেসর নুরুল হোদা এক্স এক্সপ্লেইন ভেরি নাইসলি দা অ্যাবনর্মালিটি অফ ক্যালসিয়াম ফসফেট পিটিএস এন্ড ভিটামিন ডি এন্ড ভেরি ট্রু এন্ড অলসো হি হ্যাজ মাইকলি সেট অলসো মেনশন বাই প্রফেসর যে ফাইব্রোলাস গ্রোথ ফ্যাক্টর 20 ইজ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট নাও এন্ড ক্লেথো হ্যাজ কাম ইন ফ্যাক্ট If fibrous growth factor to the increase factor, it may be a marker of chronic kidney disease. That is also common. So it is very latest and very important point. Also uh, uh, mentioned by Professor Mohibur Rahman, the fibrous growth factor is very important for cardiovascular mortality. And rightly say, and also there are uh, drugs and uh, already described management term. So that she term it say H T. Okay, the ball is okay. The ball is hello. H uh, T. Reabsorptic is it? and new analog as it shekuli and osteoporosis kibhabe chikitsa korbo kokhon chikitsa korbo ki diye korbo seta ekta jotil kapar ar ekta jinish shobai jeta highlight koreche je when to use calcium uh, or phosphate binder and what phosphate binder and when to use vitamin d that is also important phosphate binder of course we prefer non calcium phosphate binder because calcium phosphate binder to use for it that calcium will be deposited to our vascular calcification so jader sikidi hoy তারা কিন্তু মরে কিন্তু কার্ডিওভাসকুলার মর্টালিটি এবং তাদের কার্ডিওভাস আইদার ডায়াবেটিসের জন্য সিকিউরিটি হচ্ছে অথবা হাইপারটেনশন তাদের ভাস্কুলার কমপ্লিকেশন থাকবে সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমরা মনি এই সব ক্ষেত্রে আমার নন ক্যালসিয়াম ফসফেট বাইন্ডার যেটা আছে সেটা ইউজ করব এবং আমাদের ডক্টর ইনকিয়ার সাহেব যেটা প্রেজেন্ট করলেন যেটা সাইট্রেট এই যে ফসফর সেটাও কিন্তু একটা নতুন ড্রাগ নামানাতে আসছে সেটা ইউজ করলে দুইটা বেনিফিট একটা হলো ফসফেট বাইন্ডার আর একটা আয়রন আমরা সাইড বাই সাইড হিমোগ্লোবিন অফ বার পাচ্ছি আমরা ওইটা রিজনেবল প্রাইসে আছে এবং আমরা ওইটা ইউজ করতে পারি সেটা একটা দিক দেখা যাচ্ছে ওভারঅল দিস ওয়াজ এক্সেলেন্ট সেমিনার 
আরেকটু সময় পেলে আরেকটু আমরা কনসেন্ট্রেট করতে পারলে আরেকটু বেশি ভালো একটু 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 থামাতে যাচ্ছি একটা কোশ্চেন আসছে মারুফ রহমান হুইচ ক্যালসিয়াম ইজ অ্যাপ্রোপ্রিয়েট ফর অ্যাডজান থেরাপি উইথ ফসফোন ফসফোন ক্যালসিয়াম কোন আমি একটু লিখ করতে চাই কারণ আমার একটা লাইভ প্রোগ্রাম আছে আমি মনে হয় প্রফেসর মহিবুর রহমান আছে হি উইল বি চেয়ারিং দ্য রেস্ট অফ দ্য পার্ট আমি ক্লিয়ার করি ইফ ইউ ডোন্ট মাইন্ড আই থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ভেরি মাচ টু ইউ এট ইওর কোম্পানি আমার একটা লাইভ প্রোগ্রাম আছে আমি একটু টেলিভিশন তো थैंक यू वेरी मच थैंक यू वेरी मच सर आई वुड लाइक टू गेट अटेंशन प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर मोहिबुर रहमान सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू इफ वी टेक फेरिक सेटेड इज देयर एनी नीड टू अदर ओरल आयरन प्रिपरेशन आई मीन इट डिपेंड्स इफ इफ यू टेक फेरिक सेटेड एंड इफ यू फाइंड दैट सेरम आयरन एंड टीआई टीआईबीसी इज करेक्ट मैन टी सेट इज करेक्टेड that means iron divided by tibc times 100 that's we call transferrin saturation if transferrin saturation is corrected and serum ferritin level is increased it, uh, the patient doesn't need any other iron supplement because oral supplements in ckd patients are not that effective the only oral supplement uh, has been found to be effective in ckd more effective in ckd patients is ferric saturate preparation other oral iron uh, uh, supplements are not that effective so if you if you find that uh, the, this correct uh, yes uh, iron this t set and ferritin is corrected the patient doesn't need any other oral supplement and in case if you would find that patient this uh, t set and serum ferritin is not correct you can give intravenous iron to correct this uh, to correct ferritin level and that has been shown to be effective intravenous iron has been shown to be effective in correcting iron deficiency in ckd patient rather than oral iron okay uh, but i have a question jo what are the uh, difference between uh, sevilimir and ferric acid what are the superiority of ferric acid in regards of sevilimir in fact uh, the superiority of ferric acid is it it is doing two things one it is acting as a phosphate binder so reducing phosphate and then it is also acting as an iron supplement so you you correcting both hyperphosphatemia and anemia at the same time with one drug there's a superiority of uh ferric citrate and that's why ferric citrate is becoming very popular in western world because ferric uh, this iron based phosphate binder is becoming popular because uh this ferric citrate has been far, though it is oral drug but it corrects tset and ferritin much better than any other oral iron supplements so it is so and it also so acts as a phosphate binder so they it has dual properties and that is, that is why it is superior to sevelimer sevelimer is only a phosphate binder it doesn't correct uh, iron deficiencies or anemia in ckd patients okay uh, thank you very much sir uh, now i'd like to get attention professor dr kazi shahanur alam uh, uh, maru prohman asked the question uh, which calcium is appropriate for the adjunct therapy uh, with phosphon is it calcium carbonate vitamin d or coral calcium or vitamin d uh, which one which one is better adjunct therapy with uh, phosphon uh in fact uh, phosphon is a no iron containing phosphate binder non calcium containing phosphate binder uh, so uh, it um, uh, it, uh, it decreases the risk of hypercalcemia so it is a good drug but if the patient needs calcium we can use uh, for uh, hypercalcemia for other reason then we can use other calcium like uh, calcium carbonate or calcium acetate and uh, i think there is no specific uh calcium uh, contain, uh, uh uh calcium acetate or calcium for, for, uh, for carbonate can be used there is no specificity for using uh, one type of calcium uh, with this uh, phosphate binder amake ekta respond korte pari amar bondhu shanot khub sundor bhabe bolche je ekhane ashole nirbhor korteche calcium dorkar naki ভিটামিন ডি দরকার অর্থাৎ যখন একটা রোগীর ক্যালসিয়াম অনেক কম থাকে আমাদের দেখতে হবে যে তার আসলে ভিটামিন ডি ডেফিসিয়েন্সি আছে সেই ক্ষেত্রে ভিটামিন ডি লেভেলটা আমাদের করতে হবে যদি ভিটামিন ডি ডেফিসিয়েন্সি থাকে সেই ক্ষেত্রে শুধু ক্যালসিয়াম দিয়ে আমাদের লাভ হবে তো সেই ক্ষেত্রে আমাদের ভিটামিন ডি আমি দেখে আমার স্লাইডে দেখে যে ভিটামিন ডি ডেফিসিয়েন্সি বা ইনসাফিসিয়েন্সি থাকে তাদের ক্ষেত্রে কারেকশন করতে হবে দুই নাম্বার আমরা যদি ফসফেট ফসফন দিলাম তারপরেও ক্যালসিয়াম তো কম আবার ফসফেটটাও ঠিক মতো কমছে না তাইলে আমার এখানে দেখতে পাবো আমার কি ফসফেটটা কি প্রাইম অর্থাৎ ফসফেট থেকে বেশি কমাতে হবে নাকি ক্যালসিয়ামটাকে বাড়াতে হবে তো ক্যালসিয়াম বাড়াতে যদি চাই তাহলে আমাদের দেখতে হবে ক্যালসিয়াম এলিমেন্টাল ক্যালসিয়াম কোন ফসফেট ব্যান্ডার বেশি দিচ্ছে ক্যালসিয়াম কার্বোনেটের এলিমেন্টাল ক্যালসিয়াম বেশি 
আবার ক্যালসিয়াম অ্যাসিটেটের ফসফেট বাইন্ডিং অ্যাবিলিটি বেশি সুতরাং আমার যদি ফসফেটটাকে প্রাইম হয় তাহলে আমার ক্যালসিয়াম অ্যাসিটেট থেকে আমি প্রেফার করবো আর যদি আমি মনে করি ক্যালসিয়াম আমার প্রাইম অর্থাৎ আমার ক্যালসিয়ামটা বেশি বাড়ানো দরকার ওটার সাথে অ্যাড যান তাহলে আমি ক্যালসিয়াম কার্বোনেটটাকে প্রেফার করবো আর দুইটাই কিন্তু আমার অ্যাসিডোসিসটাকেও কারেকশান করতেছে যদিও অ্যাসিটেটটা মোর কারেকশান করতেছে যেমন কার্বোনেট হ্যাঁ আর তিন নম্বর হচ্ছে যদি আমার ভিটামিন ডি ডেফিসেন্সি থাকে তাহলে আগে ওইটা কারেকশান করতে হবে শুধু ক্যালসিয়াম দিয়ে লাভ নেই আর যেটা মবুর স্যার আমার শ্রদ্ধেয় স্যার মবুর স্যার বললেন যে বলছেন সুন্দরভাবে ডিসকাশন করছেন ওই যে সেভেলামার ভার্সাস ফেরিক্স সাইট্রেট ফেরিক্স সাইট্রেট এবং সেভেলামারের মধ্যে তাদের দুজনের একটা কমন সিনারিও আছে সেটা নন ক্যালসিয়াম বেস ফসফেট পয়েন্ট আছে একজনের অ্যাডজাঙ্ক একটা জিনিস আছে কি যে হচ্ছে তার এনিমিয়া কারেকশান করে কিন্তু কে বেশি ফসফেট বাইন্ডিং এবিলিটি বেশি এটা নিয়ে কোনো অরিজিনেটার ব্র্যান্ড নিয়ে কোনো হেড টু হেড স্টাডি নাই এটা বলতে গেলে আমাকে অবশ্যই অরিজিনেটার ব্র্যান্ড নিয়ে যেটা প্রদীপ স্যার একটু করে বলছিল যে এরকম কোনো স্টাডি নাই এরকম তো আসলে স্টাডি নাই আমাদের অরিজিনেটার ব্র্যান্ড নিয়ে হেড টু হেড কোনো স্টাডি নেই তো এটা না থাকলে আমি কীভাবে বলবো যে সেভেলামার যে ফসফেট ফসফেট বাইন্ডিং এবিলিটি বেশি এটা বলা আসলে ঠিক আছে thank you uh, thank you uh, professor dr nozrul islam sir i attention uh, i draw i want to draw your attention uh, do you add something uh, else in this topics uh, thank you ashole ta na oi ami oi ekhi kothay ashte chai jeta khuda bollo prothom pradeep sir bollo head to head study hole je onno binder gular sathe tahole eta amader jonno abe ektu already fd approved 2014 theke eta use hocche offset double so defect डायबेटिस তবে ইয়েতে যদি আমরা আয়রন এবং ফসফেট বাইন্ডার হিসাবে মানে একটা সিঙ্গেল ড্রাগ তাহলে অবশ্যই ফসফনে অথবা ফেরিক্সাইট্রেট ইউজ করলে পিল বার্ডেন কমবে যদিও ফেরিক্সাইট্রেট হতো ডোজ আসলে তিন বেলা আমাদের মিনিমাম থ্রি টাইমস তো সেই জন্য পিল বার্ডেন অবশ্যই কমবে ইয়ে দিলে থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার আমি একটু মরিবরম স্যারের দৃষ্টি আকর্ষণ করতে যাচ্ছিলাম স্যার কস্ট ইফেক্টিভ মানে কস্টিংটা কিন্তু একটা আসলে খুব ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফ্যাক্টর আমাদের দেশে বিকজ সিকেডি পেশেন্ট অনেকই মিডিল ক্লাস ফ্যামিলিদের হয়ে থাকে সেক্ষেত্রে এই কস্টটা আসলে অনেক বেশি বেড়ে যায় আপনি যদি সেভেন এম এর কথা চিন্তা করেন যদি থ্রি টাইমস ডেলিতে এবং তার সাথে যদি একটা আয়রন প্রিপারেশন দিতে হয় প্লাস টু হান্ড্রেড প্লাস কিন্তু কস্টিংটা পড়ে যায় ও ভাইরাস ফসকোনে কিন্তু অনলি ওয়ান হান্ড্রেড ফিফটি টাকা এই ব্যাপারটাকে আপনি স্যার কিভাবে দেখবেন people are deficient, have deficient in are deficient in vitamin d among vitamin d supplement dite hoyeche in fact i mean you vitamin d supplement khe uh, chikan because i was found to be deficient in vitamin d so because amra ekta study korechhilam shekhane i was also participating so shekhane to shudhu amader ei sikri patient rao kintu onekei vitamin d deficient amra vitamin d assessment kori ni ader shudhu amar mone hoy vitamin d correction ekta important Uh, topic how it is in our patients because amar desher onek ar security patient onekei to baire jay na ghore thake sun exposed hoy na ebong tara thik moto khay o na phole they can become vitamin d deficient ebong shejon vitamin d correction kora ta ekta important management step hote pare in our patients of security acha apni je kotha la bollen cost effectiveness definitely jodi apnar ferric citrate 
if if it controls phosphate and if it controls anemia and it if it and it is cheaper than 7MR plus uh, another iron preparation then definitely people will prefer very <coughs> such fit as their first line choice so so i think that's that goes beyond saying that if it is cheaper uh, and if it's cheaper than 7MR plus another iron supplement then definitely it should be preferred Thank you so much. Sir, uh, but after Jinish Jeta, the Amra NDT nephrology dialysis transplantation at a study the clam. She can get number head to head, uh, pericited among civil immediate at a study the kitchen. Uh, Jacane, uh, civil immediate had a correct use for a little hemodialysis patient through for a two thirty hemodialysis patient children two weeks at a study chilo, pericited on civil immediate. She can get the hanging HJ, pericited phosphate control to a bishi, a comma chair rather than civil immediate. Uh, has no role to uh, increase the serum ferritin and serum hemoglobin level. Uh, so, uh, head to head study, ache, but shedar, ba duration, but number of patients, ba, because this is the very new molecule. Uh, so, it is a study. India is a short study. We have to study the number of patients. Yes. That was not a randomized control trial. It was a randomized control trial. It was a randomized 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 trial. If not, it's not less. So, Japanese study, that is more high. What I see is ferric acid phosphate lowering capability is as good as several ever. So, sure, man, it is just the way that head to head study at the at the data. But the duration among number of patients is very little, na. And sure, man, I am more high. It is very high. So, ferric acid, if ferric acid, I am not monitoring. If it is as good as several ever, reducing, reducing. In fact. Several more can top make a cat high on a gulo. If you have to take 800 milligram three times a day, if you take less than 800 milligram three times a day, it's not effective. Shudrang, Shikane, Shetra to the Huetake, I will very excited to the equal effectiveness high of lowering phosphate, then people should prefer very excited. There's no doubt about it. In fact, in USA, the iron iron binding phosphate binders are becoming very popular, and they are now and now the trend is to prescribe iron binding phosphate binders rather than other non calcium based phosphate binders. So they are uh, prescribing it in the USA. So it's becoming popular, and I think if uh, the same thing will happen here, that if we find that ferric citrate is lowering phosphate and increasing uh, ferritin level and T set, then we should prefer ferric citrate. Okay. Uh, now I'd like to uh, attention to Dr. Nuruza, sir. Uh, which one is better uh, to correction metabolic acidosis? Is ferric acid or stable limit? Definitely ferric citrate. Because ferric citrate is the citrate as So citrate money metabolic acid is correction. Stable limit metabolic acid is correction. So that's why I don't know. One study that I see. But ferric citrate metabolism is correction of the citrate. Yamon calcium citrate as citrate, calcium carbonate. Every year come metabolism is correction role as a ultimately for a bicarb conversion. You can citrate to bicarb conversion. You know, ferric citrate acid is correction of role as it ultimately have a parathyroidism to control. Several several carbonate. I trust a several level hydrochloride. Several level carbonated actually acidosis coma, I can several level hydrochloride coma. I can have several level contact hatch and tarponi for correct. This is a Rami, so Talatakur Burini. I'm not the social carbonate tape or the other dishes at a position of the ability. ব্যাখ্যা করবেন আসলে 
শুধু ওষুধ দিলে হবে না ডায়েটের দিকেও নজর দিতে হবে যেটা ডক্টর নুরুদা কিন্তু বলেছেন ডায়েট ইজ এ ভেরি ইম্পর্টেন্ট ফ্যাক্টর ক্যালসিয়ামটাকে যাতে অন্তত ডেইলি 1 কেউ কেউ 1.5 গ্রাম বলে এর বেশি যাতে ক্যালসিয়াম না খাওয়া হয় অথবা এর বেশি খেতে গেলে কিন্তু হাইপার ক্যালসিয়েমিয়া ডেভেলপ করতে পারে আর ফেরিক সাইডের যেটা এটা একটা বিরাট সুবিধা তো আছে এটা যে এটা যে নন ক্যালসিয়াম বাইন্ডিং ফসফেট বাইন্ডার এটা তো বিরাট সুবিধা যে হাইপার ক্যালসিয়েমিয়া হওয়ার সম্ভাবনাটা ফেরিক সাইডের খুবই কম আর ক্যালসিয়ামের যে বিভিন্ন प्रिपरेशन আছে অত ফেরিক সাইডের যেটা আমরা ইউজ করতেছি ফেরিক সাইডের কিন্তু অনেকগুলো স্টাডিতে মধ্যে দেখলাম ফেরিক সাইডের কিন্তু এসিডিসির ক্ষেত্রে ভালো কাজ করে ट्रावल <laughs> Uh, certain uh, different types of hemodialysis also affect the uh, phosphate level jemon hemodialysis level er khetre amader ratre jader hemodialysis kora hoy eder kintu phosphate level ta kom thai ar ekta byapar holo phosphate ta kintu intercompartmental change hoy phosphate ei matro chole gelo abar kintu ber hoy abar blood e cell er modhe jama hoy ei jonno onek khon dhore jara dialysis kore eder jonno oi calcium कार्बोनेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेटेट
উনি যথেষ্ট পরিশ্রম করছেন এবং এবং এই কয়েকটি ওয়েবিনার হয়তো আমি আমার মনে পড়ে যে আয়োজন করেছেন এটা অবশ্যই আমরা একজন ডক্টর হিসাবে আমি আমি গৌরব বোধ করি যে ইমতিয়াজ ডক্টর ইমতিয়াজ মেডিকেল ম্যানেজার মেডিকেল অ্যাফেয়ার্স ডিভিশন এন্ড ট্রেনিং এবং তিনি নাভানা ফার্মাসিউটিক্যালসের পক্ষে এই রিসার্চ ওয়ার্কস এবং ডিসিমিনেশন অফ নলেজ এই কাজে উনি এগিয়ে আসছেন এবং অনেকগুলো ওয়েবিনার আয়োজন করে আমাদের আপ টু ডেট রাখার চেষ্টা করছেন আমি আমার সদ্য শিক্ষক এই ওয়েবিনারের চেয়ারপারসন প্রফেসর শামী আহমেদ স্যার প্রফেসর মহিবুর রহমান স্যার এবং প্রফেসর প্রদীপ দত্ত স্যারকে আমার শ্রদ্ধা জানাচ্ছি আমাদের সময় দেওয়ার জন্য এবং সাথে প্রফেসর নজরুল ইসলাম এবং সর্বোপরি আজকের যে স্পিকার কিনট স্পিকার ডক্টর নুরুল হুদা হেড অব দ্য ডিপার্টমেন্ট চট্টগ্রাম মেডিকেল কলেজ ন্যাশনোলজি ডিপার্টমেন্ট ওনাকে আবারও অভিনন্দন এবং মোবারকবাদ জানাচ্ছি এই সুন্দর উপস্থাপনার জন্য সর্বশেষে সবাইকে আবারও ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি এবং আমরা যেন সামনের দিনগুলোতে আবার এভাবে একত্রিত হতে পারি সেই কামনা করছি এবং আমরা যেন মহান আল্লাহ তালা যেন আমাদের সবাইকে সুস্থ রাখে সেটা কামনা করছি Thank you so much, sir. Thank you very much for your inspiring course and keep it, uh, keep it us. And now I'd like to attention uh, Professor Dr. Nozrul Islam for concluding your speech. Special thanks to Dr. Ithias and Navana from Asipical, especially uh, this is new product in our country. And at the end of the day, I'm going to say that the CKDMPD maximum lecture for me is going to be the same. আমি যতটুকু জানি বিভিন্ন জায়গায় ন্যাশনাল ইন্টারন্যাশনাল সব জায়গাগুলোতে আজকে হুদার লেকচার দ্যাট ইজ অলসো একটি গ্রেট আমি বলবো খুবই ভালো লেকচার দিয়েছেন খুবই ভালো ডেলিভারি দিয়েছেন অনেক বেশি ইন্টারেস্ট হয়েছি অনেক কিছু জানা নেই যেটা প্রদীপ স্যার বলতেছিলেন যে আজকে পড়লাম এটা এখনও বুঝিনি স্যারই যদি এই কথা বলেন তাহলে আমরা কিন্তু অনেক ইসে চলে যাব কারণ প্রদীপ স্যার মহিবুর রহমান স্যার আমরা এদেরকে খুব আইকন হিসাবেই চিন্তা করি স্যারদের যখন এই বক্তব্য তখন নিজেদেরকে আর খুঁজে পাই না এনিওয়ে তারপরও নতুন করে কিছু শিখলাম অনেক কিছুই শিখলাম যদি এটা চর্চা থাকে হয়তো বা থাকবে আর না হয় আবার ভুলে যাব তবে হুদা যেটা বললো যে কন্টিনিউস মেডিকেল এডুকেশন যদি থাকে এরকম হয়ে না অফকোর্স ইস এ হেল্পফুল ফর আস আমাদেরকে সবাইকেই রিক্যাপিচুলেট করার একটা সুযোগ দিচ্ছে অ্যান্ড থ্যাংক ইউ মাই ডিয়ার ইয়ঙ্গার ব্রাদার ডক্টর কাজী শাহানুর অ্যান্ড Special thanks to keynote speaker also, Dr. Huda also. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my uh, senior professor also. Thank you. As-salamu alaykum. Just to conclude, please, Professor Dr. Pradeep Kumar Dattu, sir. Prathame, I am Professor Nur Huda ke dhunna wa jana chhi. I recommend a beautiful lecture dhavar junno. অনেক কিছু উনি ওনার বক্তব্য বুঝা গেছে এবং এটা আমার কাছে একটা রিকেপিচুলেশনের মতো হয়েছে যে সিকেডি বোন মিনার মেটাবলিজমে ভেরি নাইস লেকচার আমি আরও ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি ডক্টর ইমতিয়াজকে শুধু তার এত সুন্দর একটা বক্তব্যের জন্য না সে যেতে কষ্ট করতেছে ডিজামিনেশন অফ দি নলেজ মেডিকেল নলেজ এটা কিন্তু একটা বিরাট ব্যাপার এবং তার স্কোপও আছে এবং স্কোপ থাকার দিন আবানা ফার্মাসিউটিক্যাল যে ফসকন আজকে অনেক দিন পরে ডাক্তার বেরোচ্ছে আমার মনে হয় দুই হাজার তাদেরকে তাদের সুন্দর বক্তব্যের জন্য এবং এডিশন অফ সাম নলেজ অনেক কিছু শিখা গেছে আসলে প্রত্যেকটা সুবিনের থেকে আমি মনে করি যে একটা শব্দ নতুন শিখা যায় অনেক সময় এই যে এটা বিরাট একটা ব্যাপার আমি আরো ধন্যবাদ এবং কৃতজ্ঞতা জানাচ্ছি প্রফেসর শামীম আহমেদ এবং প্রফেসর মহিবুর রহমান দেয়ার এক্সপার্ট কমেন্টস সবার শেষে এখন আসো যে প্যান্ডেমিক চলতেছে আমাদের অনেক ডাক্তার মারা গেছেন অনেক ডাক্তার অসুস্থ সবার প্রতি সহমতে জানাচ্ছি ষষ্ঠা যেন সবাইকে ভালো করে দেন সামনে দিনগুলো যেন আমরা সামনে সামনে সবাই ভালো থাকবেন সুস্থ থাকবেন এই কামনা করে আমার বক্তব্য শেষ করছি
thank you so much sir for your inspiration and nice comments on behalf of this uh, webinar now i'd like to uh, get attention professor dr mohur rahman chairperson of this webinar uh, for conclude this piece uh, thank you navana pharmaceutical and special thanks to dr imtiaz for arranging such an excellent webinar and these webinars are uh, always these webinars are helpful because they refreshes our memory they teaches us a lot of things and they keeps us up to date with the uh, present knowledge and present development in the medical field. So I think Dr. Imtiaz is taking a lot of trouble in arranging these webinars and disseminate this uh, up-to-date knowledge to all of us. And, they, and I think he deserves a big uh, hands for that. And also Nawala Pharmaceutical. And uh, I also thank Nawala Pharmaceutical for introducing this uh, ferric citrate in Bangladesh because this is really needed in our country and our poor patients and our uh, patients with um, who doesn't have a lot of money will be benefited by this drug because this drug is uh, will be cheaper at the end and and that uh, which which is going to control phosphate and enemy at the same time. So I think. Uh, this webinar has been a, a great success and yeah, it has been really uh, enlightening and teaching and we all have learned a lot from these webinars and this sort of webinars should go on and should be continued and we should keep it up and we hope that everyone would have benefited from this sort of uh, dissemination of scientific knowledges and we need to need to keep us updated and uh, we and so that we can we can uh, transform this knowledge to our practice and so that we can help our patients and patients at the end patients all patients will be benefited thank you all and thanks to thanks to uh, dr nurul huda for his nice speech and excellent presentation thanks to professor pradeep kumar dotto professor kaji shanu alam and professor nurul islam for their uh, nice comments and additional knowledge and addition of and their uh, their comments on the topic and uh, and lastly i thank navana and dr intias for their endeavors thank you all thank you so much sir and our foremost because always encouraged to enhance a continuing medical education program and disseminated this knowledge this uh, program and we are already uh, started this web near from july in this covid pandemic cases uh, because we are not promoting too much to uh, postpone uh, to in front of you because some health hazard so thank you very much for uh, giving your opportunity and long time you are uh, participated here for active discussion uh, on behalf of very excited and postpone thank you very much our honorable chairperson professor dr shami mahmud sir Professor Dr. Mohibur Rahman Sir, Professor Dr. Pradeep Kumar Dotto Sir, Professor Dr. Nozrul Islam Sir, Professor Dr. Kaji Shahnur Alam Sir, and definitely Professor Dr. Nurul Huda Sir for his brilliant presentation. Because he is a brilliant presenter and he is a exposer of international presentation capability also. So thank you very much, Sir, Dr. Nurul Huda Sir. Uh, we have also arranged next Friday uh, on hemodialysis. Professor Dr. Rofiqul Alam Sir will be the chairperson for this webinar. So uh, we uh, would like to invite you uh, to join this webinar. Uh, so thank you very much for giving this opportunity and phosphon is a beautiful uh, product for uh, ckd patients because it's a dual mode of action as you mentioned uh, it reduces the phosphate level as well as increase serum hemoglobin and serum platelet level and very cost effective and cost effective is a very important factor for in our country level because uh, ckd patient has no uh, has lost many financial burden also happen for their family and their life so thank you very much stay safe stay blessed stay healthy stay happy and keep it uh, keep on keep it on us uh, navana pharmaceuticals and ferix and foscon thank you very much for your participation thank you so much allah hafiz allah hafiz assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum